enthusiastic Remainers have been quick to jump on the election result as their latest opportunity to mold the UK and APOS's departure from the EU. The various lobby groups, including former ministers still close to some in government, have been worrying with chatter and tactical planning about how to get their voices heard. There are ideas about commissions or and APOS, NEDDIAS and APOS, groups of advisors from business and all political parties that met in years gone by. Even senior Tories like the leader of the Scottish Conservatives, one of their few success stories at the moment, told us yesterday at CAN and APOS T just be a Tory Brexit. On first hearing that is a staggering thing to hear from Tory lips. But before Remainers get swept up in their moment and their ambitions swell, IT and APOS is worth pondering what possibly might be on the table and what might not, given the usual caveats about the unpredictability of what might come next. First off, even Brexit supporting ministers involved in the process acknowledge that a minority government has to behave differently. Expect therefore a change in tone, a more overtly consensual approach, the government is for example more likely to agree opposition attempts to amend their EU legislation without a fight. One cabinet minister told me the government will take a less ideological approach. Some members of cabinet will push for a less rigid stance urging Theresa May to soften or scrub out her red lines as the negotiations get underway. But on the fundamental choices? Two well-placed ministers tell me IT and APOS is hard to see, hard to go back on the decision that we are leaving the single market. It is likely the government will make more of trying to maximize our access to it. This could mean it will become an equal concern to immigration rather than being a clear rhetorical second. But in as much as it is at all possible to take direct readings from the electoral message, and I and APOS am not sure it is given how varied the results were, more than 80% of the public voted for the two main parties who both promised to leave the single market and end free movement. Woe betide any politician in this climate who is suddenly going to tell the electorate they didn and APOS t mean it on immigration. There are hopes in the Remain camp too about the influence of the DUP, their participation in government does not mean suddenly that the G, O, V, E, R, N, M, E, and T, N,